I'm Eris, welcome to 23, you're joining me for A Dangerous Position, Chapter 3. Oh my god, what have I signed up for? Drop the note and start pacing the floor, the heels of your shoes crunching on the rugged glass. What if they're lying and Emily is actually dead? I think I should get her as fast as human the possible, stop overreacting. I've been calling it X, why I can't be murdered right now. Stop overreacting. Emily just decided she had enough and went for to a spa for a break. Really, I should envy her, not create conspiracy theories. But still, do I need to take a chance? My father needs me. Start tugging at your gown, trying to get it off as the door swings open. What's going on here? I'm leaving. There has to be a better way to pay my father's bills. You can't leave. Think about what you're doing. You're not paying me to think, remember? Look, I'm sorry I said that. You're clearly not like Emily at all. Dex's muscular frame fills the door. He looks worried. Is Laura alright? She's fine, just scared. I'll go and take care of this. How did you know what happened? The security team informed me your window was broken. You should tell him about the note. Shove the note in his face. Question of security. I question of security. They knew, but they didn't stop it. I'm sorry. Did they at least catch whoever it was? Not yet. Next to you, Randy has picked up the note you dropped. Die, die, die. Dex stopped short, his face turning pale. I'm so sorry this happened. And now I'm leaving. No one said this was going to be dangerous. Please don't leave. You look so sad. Someone that hot should never look that sad. Oh my god, it doesn't matter whether they're hot or not. I find the whole thing strange. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Um, are you sure about that? They just somehow got the wrong house? No one should ever want to kill her. She's a very sweet person. She wouldn't harm anyone. Except you! He just took off without a thought to what you needed. Don't talk about Emily like that. She has her flaws. But I can't imagine anyone wanting to hurt her. And yet, here we are. Either someone wants to hurt her, or they already know I'm going to pretend to be her, and they want to hurt me. A phone in the room pings, and Randy pulls out a cell phone. Sir, security has notified me that our cameras were down during the incident. Our cameras were down? How's that possible? See? This wasn't a mistake. Someone is deliberately trying to scare me. I won't let them harm you. I'm sure you'll try. But you've got security and someone still managed to throw a rock through my window. I think this sounds like an inside job. How else would they know this was Emily's window? Why are you so upset? What? Because I don't know someone just threw a rock through my window saying die. For all the obvious reasons. I'm sure this is a prank. Emily wasn't being threatened. And how do you, can you know she wasn't? Emily doesn't have any enemies. Everyone loves her. Are you sure she wasn't hiding secrets from you? Like what? How would I know? Excuse me, well, you, uh, insist on playing Nancy Drew. The gal is waiting. He's right, we need to leave soon. What about the note? And the broken window? Randy has someone fix the window. We'll need this mess cleared up before we get back. And if security tighten, this better not happen again. Laura, follow me. The limo is waiting. He leads you to the front doors where you get into the waiting car. Get in. I'll brief you on what you need to know. Dex stops and looks you up and down. You're really wearing that? I'm sorry, is there a problem? Cross your arms. No, I just... I thought you'd welcome the chance to upgrade your wardrobe. Life isn't all about expensive clothes. You climb into the limo. Wow. 
Anyways, I need to prepare you to meet Emily's family. I have to meet her family tonight. Isn't this too soon? I'm paying hundreds of thousands for your father's care. You didn't think this was going to be easy, did you? Fair enough. I've never been in a limo before. I can tell. You look too excited. Stop with that. Well, excuse me for being normal, Mr. Ryan. Dex. Call me Dex. Your sister doesn't like it when I call you Dex. Randy is a bit protective of me. Or jealous. Are you sure it wasn't him who threw the rock? He would never do such a thing. Well, if you say so. Forget about Randy and pay attention. We have a lot to learn, and this is a little complicated. Okay, what do I need to know? Emily's father is Rhett Travis. Joanne Travis is his second wife, and Emily's stepmother. Is Emily close with her father and stepmother? Not particularly. Pulls out his phone and shows you pictures of them both. Ah, really young stepmother. Who's literally about her age with big double E's and old dad. Okay. How old is Joanne? Um, she's a bit younger than Rhett. A bit. She looks young enough to be his daughter. Emily often said that. It's disgusting. Yes, especially because Joan and Emily went to school together. <clears throat> Called it. You're kidding me. Nope. You saw Joan at school bake sale and fell in love. I'm surprised Emily didn't run away from her parents instead of you. You don't hold your punches, do you? I take it Emily has learned the art of diplomacy. you are much better than I have. Yes, I believe so. I should ask... something trivial. How long do we have to stay? Not really trivial. Probably a couple hours. Depends on what work I can get done while I'm there. That's what these things are. They're called fundraisers, but really they're just a chance for us to make some more deals. What am I supposed to do while you're making these deals and I get into a jam? Remember, if you run into someone you don't know, just squeeze my hand. We'll be holding hands. Or a couple, remember? We have to act like it. I'm again gonna wonder if I made a huge mistake. Isn't that what I've been saying? <sighs> Let me spell it out. We are engaged to be married. We have to act like it when we're in public holding hands, kissing, or part of the territory. What? I didn't expect you to be so naive. Do you need to practice a kiss so you uh, won't be so nervous? I'll say, absolutely not. Please don't fight me on everything. You have no idea how important this is. I guess it's just as important to me. He spends the next half an hour filling your brain with details, and you hope like hell you remember them all. The car rolls up in front of the breathtaking hotel, and Dex takes you by the hand as he escorts you to the ballroom. Pretty. There's Red over there. You remember who he is, right? Yes, I got it. I know who everyone is. Emily's father waves before heading in your direction, pulling Joanne along with him. Oh my goodness, he's coming this way. What if he sees right through me? Ugh, I'm so nervous, I'm starting to sweat. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Just say you're on your... period. <laughs> Isn't that a defensive thing women use? I don't feel so good, can I be right back? Can I go to the bathroom? How can you possibly say that? Because you have me. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And down in the description below, links to social media, Discord, and if you want to support me and my content, it's very much appreciated. Hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. If not, hopefully I've made it a little bit better. If not, tell me what's wrong down below. And without further ado, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.